and they think for some reason our kids just because they can't necessarily speak or they can't sit still you know for some reason they think that they need God less or that they need that community less. Uh, I like to uh, listen to God and I love Him. To say plans and say grace when you have dinner. All that they may get, especially the first year, is this is church and this is home. Like they is the association, God and church and home and safety and peace. My mom loves me. I think get a picture of her yeah. to put her on my phone. They should see the class. Watch a week. Watch one class, and you'll and you'll see the value in the kids and their responses on their faces. All these kids have a soul. All these kids are going to make choices throughout, throughout their lives. And they want to come because they have friends there they, and they are getting the benefits that uh, you get from communion or confession. Honestly, it was hard to be first accepting of the fact that uh, my kid is going to have challenges and he's probably going to have these challenges forever. So our prayer was as much for him as it was for us as parents. What what was God thinking and why did he choose us for him? I'm not I'm not the Immaculate Conception. I am not anywhere near it and uh, but I am a mother like she is and to keep that in mind that she was there, she was present, she didn't shy away from that. There are families who do struggle and just throw their hands up and say, I'm, I'm, I'm done. And not saying that I haven't been tempted, but I, the faith roots you. The faith roots you and she roots you into remembering, don't give up. Don't give up. This is a special child. You were given this child for a reason, just as she was given Jesus for a reason.